Time now for our daily feature, Need to Know. And we take a look at your questions. We speak to our team of experts and we get the right answers for you. Today's question is from Catherine, who asks what deflation is and whether it is a bad thing. ENCA resident economist Trudy Makaya answered this question for us. It's often drilled into our heads that high inflation is a bad thing. High inflation means that consumers are unable to afford the goods and services that they're used to buying at a certain level of income. But deflation can also be a bad thing. Now, of course, when prices go down, consumers benefit. But if prices are going down across the economy, it's often a sign that businesses are forced to discount because there's not enough demand for their product. In other words, the economy is getting weaker, people are not purchasing as much as they can for various reasons, but it often means that a recession is underway or just around the corner. Of course, what then deflation means is that eventually prices keep going down, wages keep going down, it can be a vicious cycle and can lead to um, depression. Now, in many European countries, there is a threat of deflation that governments are trying to fight with stimulus policies aimed at ensuring that households have enough cash and disposable income to spend, which hopefully will result into greater spending and over time increased inflation, but of course not to high inflation. Time now for a look at the markets. We're starting in the U.S., where markets had a choppy session after equities climbed for a seventh consecutive week. We saw a rally in healthcare companies, and it was it offset weaker than expected Chinese trade data and a continued sell-off in oil, but not good enough to bring that market into the green. In Europe, markets closed in the red as well, following losses in construction and chemical shares. While here at home, the JSC made a late comeback to end higher in a volatile trade. Miners failed to take advantage of the weaker rand, while banks, financials and some industrials had a late lift. Sassel fell again today as the oil price dropped below $70 a barrel. Famous brands hitting a record high today after the fast food chain operator said it will buy into a meat processing factory. Looking at commodities, gold shrugging off the dollar's move to multi-year highs with its fundamentals beginning to dominate the near-term outlook. Meanwhile, Brent crude losing some ground again and investors concerned that the market is speculating too strongly that oil prices will rise. On the currency market, the rand receiving some heavy blows today, hovering around six-year lows as the stronger dollar and weak economic data continues to hammer the local currency. And before we leave, Africa hopes to send a space exploration mission to the moon soon. It's launched a fundraising initiative and one organization says it hopes this will raise awareness and interest about the universe. Africa's first venture to the moon is just dollars away and the Foundation for Space Development is calling on funders to close the gap. The non-profit organization launched an initiative in November to raise over 1.7 million rand to fund the mission's first phase, dubbed Africa to Moon. The project aims to send up a robotic craft streaming live images back to Earth. It's hoping to raise awareness and curiosity to African youths in classrooms across the continent in the process. Our funding comes from private institutions and private individuals. And when attempting something as large as this, um, it is imperative that we've got the public behind us. And the best way to gauge and measure public opinion and public support is to open it up to the public for funding as well. Organizers want Africa to make a significant contribution to space exploration activities and leverage the continent's skills. Africa has great resources. It has a lot of people, a lot of smart people, uh, a lot of people with excellent education and that's the main resource you need for a mission like that. It's the ideas which bring you to the moon. Africa to Moon mission has partnered with the UN's Giving Tuesday initiative. This follows another crowdfunded lunar mission in Britain which raised over 11 billion rand. Well, that's it for today's edition of ENCA Moneyline. Remember, you can send us your comments or questions via email on moneyline at enca.com. You can tweet us using the handle at ENCA News and the hashtag ENCA Moneyline. From me and the team, good night.